Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. We've got a number of new features and are in the middle of changing how the application looks. In this short video, I'm going to explain some of the changes and show you some demonstrations. There's going to be further changes in the next few days, but this is what the app looks like now for subscribers. There used to be a graph here, but now there's a message telling you to drag and drop your data. So let's get some data and do that. This is the U.S. Treasury website and it has data about the national debt. I'm going to download their data by clicking this button. Now let's go back to the Visitech tab. I'm going to drag the data I just downloaded into the drag and drop window. And we immediately get a graph of the three data sets they provided. The only graph I'm interested in is the total debt so I'm going to X out the other two. I want to zoom in on the recent sharp rise in the national debt. So I'm going to right click and drag a rectangle around it. We can hover over any point to see the date and the national debt. I'm going to reset this and then do something different. The screen is reset and I'm going to click on the microphone button and speak my command. NVIDIA stock price. Now we have a graph of NVIDIA stock price. I'm going to zoom in on some of the recent action. Let's zoom in one more time. You can see that there's a candlestick chart and we can hover over any of these data points, see the date and the closing price. Now let's add another stock, AMD stock price. Let's zoom in on the recent activity. And let's zoom in again one more time. The top graph is AMD price and the bottom graph is NVIDIA price. We can also hover over the labels. Now we have NVIDIA highlighted in red and now we have AMD highlighted in red. You could repeat this and add as many stocks as you wanted, though the screen would get quite cluttered. Let's reset again and do something different. Now we're going to click on the Options tab and select a preloaded data set, DC Crime 2025. Now we have a Google map showing all of the 21,583 crimes reported in Washington, D.C. this year. It's a Google map so you can zoom and pan if you want to look at one specific crime. Let's double click on this gun crime to see when it occurred. It was a robbery on January 26 and you can see the block where it occurred. Now let's use Google Street View to see exactly where the crime happened. And we can drag to pan around the neighborhood. Now let's click on the Table tab and do some analysis. One of the pieces of data which the police provide is the Offense category. Let's issue a command. Group by Offense and count the number of lines. Now we have a bar chart showing the different Offense categories. Let's put a title on this. We can take a screenshot to download a copy of the graph. I'm going to go over to the Downloads tab and click on it. We've got a copy of the graph now. Now let's change it from a column chart to a pie chart. This chart is also interactive and if you hover over it, you can see exactly what they are. You can also remove a slice if you want. Over the next few days, we're going to be adding a number of additional chart types. You might notice that right now this bar is blocking some of the chart. In the next few days, I'm going to move this bar up to the upper right. There's also going to be a nice menu bar on the left and a drop down on top hiding some of this stuff. Let's reset and do a different example. Arctic sea ice. 
Now we have a graph of Arctic sea ice extent for every day since 1979, and we can zoom in. I'm going to hover over a point and press the E key on the keyboard. This brings up a map of Arctic sea ice extent on November 15th, 2025. Let's try the summer minimum. I'm going to press the E key again. Now we have a map of September 12th sea ice extent, which was the summer minimum. I'm going to reset and do one more example. Let's click the microphone button. Longest stretch of days over 90 degrees in Iowa. You can see that during 1936, there were 41 consecutive days over 90 degrees at Logan, Iowa. And I'm going to switch to a bar chart. Let's add a title to it. And we can do other formatting from the Options tab. If we click on the Map tab, we can see where all the USHCN stations are located in Iowa. If we hover over one of these lines and press the E key, we can see exactly where that thermometer is located. And you can use Google Street View to take a closer look at that neighborhood. In this short video, I've just barely scratched the surface of the capabilities of Visita. It's designed to work with pretty much any type of data, but I had to pick a few specific examples for demonstration purposes. There are going to be further changes to the interface over the next few days. One of the important features which we're doing at Visitech is that we keep your data private. It is not uploaded to any other server. Your data always stays on your own machine. The data analysis is being done entirely on your computer. It is only using AI to interpret the questions, not analyze the data. We don't see your data at Visitech, and nobody else sees it either. If you upload your data to any AI program, you've lost your privacy, but Visitech doesn't do that. Your data never leaves your computer. Visitech is quite a bargain compared to the prices our competition is charging. If you're interested, visit us at visitech.ai.